Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today is day four of our triple seven chakra challenge, and we are doing a heart chakra or a anahata chakra practice. So come to an easy seated position. First finger and thumb together. We're going to let the left hand rest on our knee. Right hand is going to rest over the heart. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, release your hands. Sweep the arms upward, letting the hands meet. Inhale and exhale the hands to heart center. From here, we're going to let the left elbow come over towards the right knee, just as best you can. You can even just do a simple twist here. Inhale. Exhale, come back to center. And we will twist to the left side. Again, you can do an easy twist or you can lower that elbow down. Inhale. Exhale, come back to center. Let's float our body up to table position. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. And let's work into some cat-cow, flipping the tailbone upward, lifting the chin up, arching the spine. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin under. Tuck the chin down to the chest and the tailbone under. Let's do a couple more rounds. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Come back to a neutral spine. Bring the big toes together and the knees out wide. Extend the arms out in front and start to float your hips back towards your heels. Just coming down to child's pose for a moment. Melting that heart chakra down towards your mat. Inhale, exhale, float your body back up to a table position and step the right foot up in between your hands. And we're going to sweep the arms up for a low lunge. So sweep the arms up, let the hands meet and let those pointer fingers extend. And just open your heart slightly with a tiny back bend. Inhale. Exhale, bring the hands back down on either side of the foot. We'll switch sides. Right foot steps back, left foot steps forward. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Let those pointer fingers extend and open the chest. Inhale. Exhale, bring those hands down on either side of the foot. Step that left foot back, and we're going to come down to our belly. So float your body forward, come all the way down to your belly, and we'll move into bow pose. So we're going to bend at both knees, reaching those arms back, grabbing the ankles, and then pulling them up and away. If this is a lot for you, you can do one side and then the other. Otherwise, we're pulling those feet up and away, letting that chest open, really opening up that heart chakra here. Take an inhale, exhale, release. 
Let's do it one more time. And if you want to do the other side, you can. Go ahead and bring those feet away from your body. Inhale. And exhale. Release. Good. Take the hands and bring them underneath the shoulders. And we will start to float our body back to a seated position, extending those legs out in front. Sweep the arms up with an inhale. Exhale, lead with the chest, come down to a seated forward bend just to counteract that back bend. Take an inhale, exhale, roll up to a seated position. We're going to rest back on our forearms and let that head fall back for fish pose. So let that heart come up towards the sky. And again, let that head fall back. this isn't comfortable, feel free to skip it. Let's slowly make our way out of fish pose and come all the way down to our back for our quick Shavasana. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Bring the color green into your mind. Let that color fill your body from your toes all the way up to the crown of your head. Silently repeat this affirmation to yourself. I love myself fully, deeply, and completely. Breathe in that affirmation. And exhale. Feel free to stay here in a longer Shavasana. Otherwise, that completes day four of our triple seven chakra challenge. Join me tomorrow for chakra number five, which is our throat chakra. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace and love.